All right, guys, this is Rome with Rome Knows Tech. So today's 3D printing project was creating some accessories for my Laser Pecker 2. Now these are to work with the third axis, which is this device right here. And one of the issues that a lot of people encounter using this when you're working with glass or cylinders is that, you know, the cylinder may not be consistent all the way across and you need to elevate it and be able to control the uh, height so that you can level out whatever it is you're gonna be engraving. So that's what these accessories basically do. No, I did not design these. These were actually designed in the community, but I did print these on my uh, Atom, uh, my AnchorMake uh, M5 that you guys see right here, but you can print these on any 3D printer. So let's just go ahead and pop these off. So basically you have three different components. As you guys can see here, we have this base, we have this mount here for one of the little ball bearings. And then we have another piece here. And I'm going to show you guys how all of these pieces go together. All right, guys. So this is the third axis that I was referring to. So this, this piece right here, you're actually going to use that on here to kind of control the glass, whatever it is you're going to put on here. Now, these smaller pieces, these are designed so that you can use the uh, ball bearings that come with the kit. And you'll be able to either, you know, feed this through or however you want to do it. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Underneath here, you have these two ball bearings. And you can take those out like so. And then what you can do is you can actually slot these in like this. And then this is going to give you a little bit more stability when you are, you know, engraving on something like glass or a uh, beer, you know, glass or something like that that's round and you'll be able to fit this in, or you can just pop these on however you want to. Now these are designed to slide on. I'm gonna see if that's gonna work. No, these actually just clip on like that. And then you will mount them in front, and then that way you can place your, I don't have a beer glass to show you guys, unfortunately, but you get the idea. So a lot of times when I'm doing uh, things like these, these cylinders, this is not a problem because this is the same height all the way across, right? No issues. But when you get to things, like I said before, that have an odd shape, that's where something like this will come in handy. Now, of course, these were not designed to be used this way. This is a very inventive uh, idea that one of the people in the community came up with. So if you guys have a 3D printer and you also have the laser pecker uh, two or three, and you're using this third axis, this could be an excellent solution. Now you can find these files over on Thinkiverse and you'll probably find them in a bunch of other sites out there. But I just wanted to do a really quick video to show you guys uh, something that I created today that I think a lot of you might benefit from if you have one of these devices. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech. I'm going to bring this video to an end. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Don't forget, guys, that you can hang out with me on Amazon. I'm live on Amazon five days a week. I talk about a lot of this type of tech. So make sure you guys are following me at RomeKnowsTech.live. That will take you right to my Amazon live stream. I, like I said, I'm live usually at 7 p.m. Central Time. Check it out. Hit the follow button. Make sure that you are, uh, you know, you'll get notified when I go live. And if you're watching this on YouTube, guys, you know, give me a subscribe and also hit that like button. All right, my lovelies, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace. I am out.